Good evening. Half a million people in Scotland are living in very deep poverty. A study from the Joseph Rowntree Foundation says women and people from ethnic minorities are disproportionately at risk. Many of those affected are working, but campaigners say it's important. Employers do more to make having a job worthwhile. Here's Kirsten Tate. After paying his bills, Sadiq is left with £10 to spend for the week. Unable to even buy a bus ticket into Aberdeen city centre, he spent six months inside his flat, frightened to spend money. It was like very hard like to get out of the house because you have to constantly think back of your head. If I spend our money, can I afford food? If I spend our money, can I afford to pay bills? That made me feel like more isolated and just made me stay indoors rather than getting outdoors. Stark figures published as part of Challenge Poverty Week reveal more people in Scotland are facing extreme hardship despite being in work. Frankly, employers need to play their role. Decisions about pay, people's conditions are made in boardrooms, not in parliaments. So employers need to sit down with their employees and work with them to ensure that every worker can make ends meet in Scotland. More than a million people in Scotland are trapped in poverty, and almost half of them are being described as living in very deep poverty. According to a new report, low paid work is having a huge effect on families, as one in ten workers are not being paid the real living wage. Around three quarters of them are women, and more than 100,000 families are struggling due to the cost of bills, and that's despite receiving a good income. At this Aberdeen food bank, demand for their service is growing. The level of wages for some people is just not enough to cover the bills. The cost of living crisis and the rise in bills and fuel costs and utility bills, etc. Um, people who are on minimum wage, um, you know, there is no way that that kind of income can meet the expectations of the household um, budget that is required across a week, across a month. Without help, Sadiq says he'd have no food on the table. And as winter approaches, there's a warning. Some families will be forced to make impossible choices, just to make ends meet. People shouldn't face poverty, they shouldn't feel lonely, and they should, be, they should feel important. Kirsten Tate, STV News.